Ankle fractures, there's a lot of important topics in ankle fractures. An important topic is the classification of ankle fractures. There are two classifications used, the Weber classification and Lag Hansen classification. The Weber classification, Weber classify the fractures of the ankle according to the level of the fibular fracture. Weber A, the fracture below the syndesmosis, and that fracture is really unstable, but it could have syndesmotic injury. Weber B, it's common, the fracture occurs at the level of the syndesmosis. The fracture could be unstable. Weber C, the fracture above the syndesmosis, and the fracture is usually unstable. If you have a fracture Weber C, and you have a deltoid injury with that fracture, you most likely will need syndesmotic screws because the syndesmosis is probably unstable. The second classification is leg Hansen classification, and that depends on the mechanism of the injury. So the Weber depend on the level of the fracture, leg Hansen depend on the mechanism of the injury. It depend on two things. Position of the foot, was it pronated or supinated? Because if the foot is supinated, the injury will start at the lateral side. If the foot is pronated, the injury will start at the medial side. The second mechanism is the force that's applied. Is it adduction, abduction, or is it external rotation? And because of these two components, the position of the foot and the force applied, we got four types in the leg Hansen classifications. Number one, very important, spination adduction injury. There is a vertical fracture of the medial malleolus. There is movement of the talus medially. There is anteromedial plafond impaction, and there is a distal fracture of the fibula that is transverse. This is the one that comes repeatedly in the exam and asking you about how you fix it. Either a screws parallel to the joint or anti-glide plate. This is the one that have the anteromedial plafond impaction. You probably need to open the joint and elevate and restore the joint surface. And also, this is the one that you may want to start medially, not laterally, as we do routine for other ankle fractures. Second one is spination external rotation injury. This is the most common injury. How do you see that? Look at the lateral x-ray. When you see an ankle fracture you want to classify, always look at the fibula also. Look on the AP and the lateral radiograph. So if you find the fracture start from anterior inferior, going posterior superior, that is spination external rotation injury. This is the one that can give you trouble if the fibula appears to be the only bone that's fractured because you wanna prove it is spination external rotation type two and not four. You want to make sure you are not missing type 4. This injury has four stages. Stage 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 will be in the medial side. If you have a medial malleolus, it will show. But if you have a deltoid ligament injury, it may not show clearly in the x-ray. That's when you want to get stress views because if it is stage 4, then you will do surgery. If it's stage 2 alone, you can treat the patient with a boot 
and weight bearing as tolerated. A third type, the pronation external rotation injury. In this case, the fracture goes from anterior superiorly to posterior inferior, and the fracture usually above the joint level. It's usually Weber C fracture. And this fracture has four stages. It moves in a circle the same way like the spination external rotation injury but this fracture starts medially at the medial malleolus or the deltoid and then move in the same circle at the spination external rotation injury. The fourth type is the PA injury or the pronation abduction injury. The fibular fracture is usually transverse or comminuted, and the fracture ankle may have only syndesmotic injury, and nothing else appears on the x-ray. This fracture will start medially, so you can get the deltoid, and then it probably moves into the syndesmosis at the following stage, and ends by fibula, so it may come a little bit earlier so you don't see a fibular fracture because it never happened, but you have syndesmotic injury.